My mind is reeling right now. It is spinning. You have within 30 minutes of the uh, bin Laden announcement, when they were just saying Obama will make the announcement, and my phone began ringing off the hook, you have these spontaneous Democratic supporters with crisp American flags showing up in the hundreds to worship Obama, our great hardcore leader. Uh, now you have people spontaneously, reportedly putting flowers at Bush's mansion in Dallas, President Bush worshiping him for saving us. You have uh, basically repeats of Chalabi, the globalist front man, in the fake pull down of the Saddam statue where the national news only showed up close. Later, photos got released. There was like 20 people around the statue, but they said hundreds of thousands are there. They pulled down the statue. Basically, we've all seen Baghdad Bob up there saying the Americans are not invading the city, as you can see explosions behind him. Uh, our government does the same kind of stuff. They just get away with it. They never get in trouble for it. Uh, and uh, this whole thing is a giant, disgusting psyop. They're, you notice in the last month, though, they've been, if Bin Laden gets killed, Al-Qaeda's going to hit. We saw WikiLeaks put that out. AP put that out. There's 160 nukes buried in America. Totally ridiculous. That's like saying there's 160 leprechauns, you know, at the end of rainbows. But they are really getting everybody ready with the same preparatory fear-mongering I saw before 9-11. Wayne, are they getting ready? To stage new terror attacks, uh, Taliban commander vows to avenge bin Laden in America. Now we've got to let the TSA stick their hands down six-year-old's pants or Al-Qaeda will get us, Wayne. Oh, well, that's what, we're, that's what we're hearing. You know, people are saying, well, now can we bring our troops home from Iraq and Afghanistan? Can we, you know, get rid of the Patriot Act? They said, no, no, we need this stuff more now than ever because than ever, because we're going to be retaliated against by, by Al-Qaeda. And, you know, I, put, I also would point out, remember Bush, uh, he was asked about bin Laden. He said, ah, bin Laden, I, no, I don't, I'm not worried about bin Laden. I mean, it was clear, even Bush said he wasn't even worried about this guy after a couple of years. He was an afterthought. Uh, well, I guess the corpse would be an afterthought to, to the president. Uh, but uh, I, I think this bin Laden is the Emmanuel Goldstein of uh of, of reality, like like uh, Emmanuel Goldstein was always pointed to by Big Brother in the in the novel 1984. He's the enemy, and we all must have to we all have to rally against the enemy. And uh, of course, the enemy was a fake. And and so uh, after ten years of war coming up, now we get to feel good. The war is going to continue, even if they hit us. So what? You know, we're fighting them, I and we see endless video of Bush on the rubble pile with his promise that. We're going to come get you, dead or alive, whoever knocked these towers down. We're coming to get you. Meanwhile, it turns out he ordered NORAD to stand down through Cheney. I mean, this is so disgusting. A way of legitimizing 10 years of empire right as the American people start to wake up to it. Well, Alex, another thing is they're setting the stage for the 10th anniversary of 9-11 in September. And we can see it now how this is going to play out. You know what? We finally got, got uh, Bin Laden. And we have to remember, Bob Mueller, the head of the FBI, stated that there was not, no indication that bin Laden uh, had anything to do He's with He's not on the FBI most wanted list and never was, but a lackey who was on one of the list, he gets to hang out at the Pentagon. And we'll talk about in the last five minutes with you, then calls. The next little five minutes, we'll talk about uh, the future of this. But I want to go out to break here. Here's a clip of Bush saying, I don't care where bin Laden is. Why do I care? Here it is. So I, I don't know where he is. Nor you know, I, I just don't spend that much time on him. Let me be honest with you. I, I'm I'm more worried about making sure that our soldiers are well supplied, that the strategy is clear, that the coalition is strong, that when we. So there you go. It uh, ends abruptly. Um, so he's not worried about Bin Laden. In fact, let's go out to break with that. With uh, let's play it one more time over the music. Let's as a hide if in fact he's hiding at all. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know where he is. Nor do, you know, I, I just don't spend that much time on him. I'll be honest with you. I, I... We're back live. The Atlantic and others are attacking me, Jeffrey Goldberg. The warp speed rise of deatherism. And uh, they're quoting my interviews here with high level globalist CFR members uh, that uh, bin Laden was dead. Many, many years ago, nine years ago, uh, nine plus years ago. 
And now you notice that Panetta uh, is leaving last week, they announced, leaving the CIA to go to the Pentagon. Petraeus, to fix intelligence, is going to the CIA. And Panetta is the big hero. Man, they did this. They took out bin Laden. This could not be more staged. And they're also positioning Petraeus for the presidential run. Uh, let's talk about that. And then also the, 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 the Al-Qaeda commanders. Amr al-Awlaki, they tell us, is number two, but also number two. Uh, is Adam Gadon, uh, former Mr. Perlman, whose daddy ran, granddaddy ran the ADL. Uh, he was arrested once for beating up Muslims outside mosque. He hated them so much. But then he joined al-Qaeda so he could be the pretext to put out videos uploaded in the same video layer uh, as the Intel Center video showing they, they're, they're the ones putting it out. I mean, th this is some bold psyops, is it not? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, I mean, Panetta, who was not really liked at the CIA, yes, this gives puts a big feather in old Joe Camel's hat there when he goes over to the Pentagon. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, 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 you know, I mean, uh, you know, yeah, there's just, it's, it, it, there's just too many things uh, involved with this. Uh, the, the, where, you know, so they decided that they had to, de I guess, defrost uh, uh, bin Laden. And, um, but, but look, nobody got an eyeball on his body. Uh, like I say, the, there, there was nothing uh, on NSA intercepts, and, and they have that area well covered indicating there was an operation going on to get bin Laden. Obama tried to say, well, we weren't sure, but I authorized this when we had good intelligence. I mean, who's he fooling? He, hasn't, he, he doesn't tell the truth about anything. If, if President Obama told me it was a nice day, I'd, I'd have to, you know, put my head out the window and get my own opinion <laughs> of that. Uh, I, but, but now I see that they're trying to spin this NSA story because now they're saying, what got NSA interested in that particular house was the fact there were no cell phones or any communications coming out of there like all the other houses in the area, and that's why they thought it was suspicious. So it looks like they're trying to cover, cover themselves by saying it was a communications dead zone just in that one house that turned out to be that's supposedly where bin Laden was staying. So you've got the same breakdown. I mean, I, I knew it as soon as I heard it last night, but today, Al-Qaeda's about to hit. Give all your rights up. Never mind the foreign banks looting you, the dollar dying, gas prices. We killed bin Laden, but we got to take all your rights because they're about to retaliate. Oh, I think so. I think this is, you know, they're just playing, playing everybody in this country and elsewhere. I mean, did you see Tony Blair was on there patting him? He almost broke his arm patting himself on the back. Uh uh, saying this was a great thing, and uh, I mean, you know, the, the the liars are out in force right now because uh, they've seen this great psyop, this great wag the dog uh, Hollywood made feature come to the small screen, and they're just uh, tripping over themselves trying to uh, praise one another and themselves. Well, Wayne Madsen, I'm going to come back and take some calls from military folks to get their view on this. I'll try to calmly recap uh, just all the incredible evidence of how ridiculous this is. But as Joseph Goebbels said, good, effective propaganda is simple and something that people want to buy into. And, you know, who likes Osama bin Laden? So it's, oh, my gosh, he's dead. Isn't that great? This is so ridiculous, and it's also frightening. It signifies the escalation in events that we're now entering. Do you agree? Oh, absolutely. I think... Uh and, and I agree, we may see the worst yet to come with the, all this noise about retaliation now. Everybody's talking about it on the corporate media. WayneMadsonReport.com or InfoWars.com. Thank you so much, Wayne, for joining us. We'll talk to you again soon. Good to be with you, Alex. You bet. We'll be right back with your phone calls, then Paul.